Three, two, one, action. Hey guys, welcome back to Off The Record where we talk about where the fuck we want because it's a crew takeover kind of day. Oh, crew yeah. takeover! Yeah, yeah. yeah. okay. Takeover. And look at Devin's shirt because Devin so proudly so wanted to- he, ch he changed just for this. He really wanted to No, it's another day, you guys. Yeah. We're, we're doing multiple of these, right? Oh, right. oh yeah. damn. Yeah. Well, I, I just wanted to wear this yeah, shirt Yeah, I just again. wear the same. That's actually yeah. a really dope shirt. Thank I just you. wear the same Hawaiian shirt every day. <laughs> that's, that's your Stranger that's Things 3 cosplay. Oh, thanks. It looks very right. soft. You know, if you feel like you're in Hawaii, then you are in Hawaii. <laughs> you're like no, in Seattle, it's so. raining. You're just like, <laughs> if I feel like I'm in Hawaii. Hawaii's where the heart is. I do like Seattle, though. Like, genuinely like Seattle. Seattle's great. Yeah, but today we have Pat on. Yeah. Action Pat! Action, Action Pat. Pat! Action Pat. I haven't been in that room the entire day, no. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a new, it's a brand new day. <laughs> Today is a brand new day. Yeah, so, new day. Uh, Pat is our, I guess, like cameraman, editor, a little bit of everything, uh, too. Yes. Yeah. So and the JK yeah. baby. Yeah, I mean, and, it, and to the sum it all up, it's more like Joe's sleeve, and that's yeah. it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. It's our, it's, it's our, and he's our uh, zinger slinger. <laughs> zinger slinger. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Pat doesn't talk much, but what he does, the fucking gold. Like, <laughs> it's the best whenever he's on camera for party. And he says something, and all of us over the headsets, the crew just go, "Oh my fucking god!" Like we're all, we're all just like reacting to it. Yeah, but usually, a lot of times people like totally miss it on camera, which is fucking hilarious. No, that's it fine. It, it makes it that much better. <laughs> or sometimes my favorite part is when you'll mutter something, thinking that nobody else could hear it, and then you like, because when you mutter, you like look down, you're like, mm, 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 and then you like look up, and you see me like looking at you, and you're just like, like <laughs> <laughs> and you like have a little mini freak out. You're like, you didn't hear that? I'm like, I hear everything, Pat. <laughs> <laughs> or, or sometimes Kyle will be like booming something and he, you mutter something and you, he'll just be like, I can hear that perfectly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you'd be like, oh, oh no. <laughs> Runs away. Damn it. Yeah. Like beating Yoshi and Ninja. I'm the Power Ranger now. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm the Power Ranger now. Yeah, that's a good one. Zinger is classic. So if you guys haven't checked out JK Party, uh, go on over and take a look and look at the videos that Pat's in, because I can almost guarantee you that every video he is in, there's at least one line. Gold. Pure gold. It's pretty fun. Pure it's pretty gold. fun. Pure gold. I don't like yeah. his attention. Let's talk about something else. Yeah. <laughs> well, we can talk about whatever we want. The video the is, is kind of like focused around you, at least for the first time. <laughs> Bullshit. Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> I do not like this attention. Yeah. But I mean, like, I guess, I guess you, so you work for, you, you do Joe's, like, vlog and stuff too, right? Like you, so you edit and shoot video for him. Yeah. You edit and shoot video for JK Party and news, news sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. And then outside of JK, I also do uh, things for a nonprofit. Nice. nice. Uh, cool. And then also do like like freelance stuff. Like cool. Every, like cool. everyone else in this company too. I think we all ha like work within JK, and then we also have like one like side thing too. Yeah. Or multiple side things. Yeah. Like, yeah. like Antoine over here. Yeah. Yeah. We kind of okay. need it. What's your uh, What's your <laughs> <laughs> Fucking gold! Fucking Whoa. zingers! Like, out of nowhere, when I'm not even paying attention, like, he'll just throw one of those out there. Uh, we're all just like, we're all like, did he really just say that? <laughs> so, I mean, I guess, but what's your, um, what's your, like, idea? Because everyone, I think, has a bunch of stuff that they do, but what's the thing that you want to get into the most? Like, for me, it want, it's like camera work for, like, uh, Nelson, it's editing. Uh, yeah, I think uh, one of my things was to get more into, like, camera stuff, and Camera too. work, yeah. Um, but, like, honestly, like, within, like, the past few years, I kind of wasn't like really paying attention to that stuff. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and that's probably because like, we were just like within like the JK circle, right? Right, and, right. Like, we were just doing like editing news and yeah. just doing party and there's already like a, work, a certain workflow to like yeah. those things. So we didn't get to do anything like creative. And like mm -hmm. this year, I'm trying to take like more of a step to be more creative. Yeah, I know um, you bought a lot of camera gear recently. I did, <laughs> which, which I might or might <laughs> might or might not have it's encouraged you to do. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but this I bought guy. a lot of camera equipment too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or even earlier today, like Ryan was like, uh, Pat convinced me not to buy another backpack. I'm like, you came to me specifically to <laughs> convince you to buy that backpack. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. Yeah. Don't don't buy another backpack. No, uh, buy I might, I might buy another backpack. <laughs> no, don't do it. Don't do it. You're gonna end up with a bunch of like a box. Of Order again. <laughs> no! I have too many backpacks. I know that struggle, Ryan. Yeah, it's it's a very common struggle amongst uh, backpack aficionados. <laughs> it's just like, do I buy this other backpack? People that have too many bags, yeah. 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 But yeah, nice. Awesome. Wait, so are you like more like, like what, what type of filmmaking are you interested in? Is it, are, you, are you more of like music video, narrative, or? Still trying to figure it out, yeah. Because yeah. like, like, I'm just trying to get into like everything. So like right now, like one of my side things are uh, weddings, right? And then also uh, real estate. Real estate is like just really random. Yeah. It's actually kind of boring. It's yeah. really just like setting up. It's like, uh, it's like staging more, right? You just gotta fill in like the void spaces within like the room and then 
This is really easy. You just slap it on a gimbal, yeah. and then you shoot super just slow make it motion. Nice slow and pretty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Your, your montage skills have gotten really good. Like I remember when you first started working, like the seeing some of your first edits and seeing them now. Like your your skill with montage is really good, and I think the way you shoot, it's very montage heavy and montage based. So it's yeah. I, I feel like that at least as far as your skill set has come like you've come a long way since Thanks, when you first man. started. Yeah. Yeah. No, no it's kinda of funny too the other day uh, I was talking to Nelson. Uh -huh. Not buff Nelson, uh <laughs> <laughs> oh, we call the other Nelson not buff <laughs> snap. Other um, Nelson's pretty buff too. Yeah, other Nelson's pretty buff. JK Nelson's pretty but buff. But he's not as buff as your Nelson, so that's true. Yeah. That's, true. Yeah, that's true. My Nelson is way buffer. Oh. <laughs> Damn, okay. Uh, anyways, yeah, I was talking to Nelson and then uh, we did like a film festival with a few of us um last year and mm -hmm. I was kind of like the DP kind of cam, right. cam operator for that thing yeah. and I said something really dumb I was like I don't know why people buy like different lenses and stuff I like I have this one lens that has like all the focal length and stuff I don't <laughs> just use that for everything it's like no that's not how that stuff some works. people so, do like, though some people do they make it work yeah but yeah I've been getting more into like buying like lenses and like paying attention to actually nice. what things do right yeah, yeah. it's that's totally lens. Robert Rodriguez like when he started he didn't he was like just have two lenses like yeah. I love Robert Rodriguez when I started out because he was so into just not being about the man or the studio. It's like, just go out and do it yourself. Did you ever read, what was it, Rebel? What was it called, Rebel Without a Cause? Or Rebel Without a Camera or something like yeah, that? Or Without, without, without a Crew, that's, that's what it was. It, yeah. Um, yeah, I was so, so that's why I loved YouTube in particular and yeah. moved over because I was like, I like the idea of not giving a yeah. fuck about a big ass studio. Oh yeah, <laughs> totally. I think, and I think it depends on what you're shooting too. Cause it's sure. like for YouTube stuff, I think we all have discovered this over time. Is that like, you can spend a lot of money trying to make it nicer and everybody hates it. <laughs> <laughs> everybody fucking hates it. So people just care honestly about the type of content. They don't care about like, yeah, or, but it's weird. Like YouTube is one of the few spaces where you can invest more money and time and people will have an aver adverse reaction to it. Like people will go the opposite direction. It's not just a matter of like, people won't care. People will actively hate it for being nicer <laughs> which is bizarre like i don't that know too really many familiar other... it's almost like um a set of some sort that yeah, we yeah. Used to it's have. like a it's like a set where we hey the zingers are supposed to be for pat <laughs> okay i'm sorry I'll... but um yeah so but it's like with this last danger boys thing we shot everything on um I think just a, yeah, 90, 98 percent of the movie we sh or part of the sh of the short uh, pilot we shot on just a Canon twenty four to one hundred five, uh, and so example with that like you can do a lot with like one or two lenses especially if there's zooms or especially if you have you know different focal. It doesn't fit everything like I won't yeah. try and be out here pretending like this is the only thing you need, but yeah. you know for a lot of the times like. You know, you can you can use that and get away with a lot of stuff. Yeah. But it's like a, it's the purpose though, because like yeah. what we were doing, we were like we we're doing a mockumentary, so like we yeah. needed that like zooming thing. But like if you were trying to do something more cinematic, like, yeah. oh yeah, let's throw out some time lenses. Yeah, exactly. Like yeah, it, right, depends, yeah. it all depends on what you're going for and what you're looking for and what you think you can get away with. So. Yeah, not only that too, but it's like also in terms of the actual visual language of your stuff. Mm -hmm. The lenses, yes, are great. When you're playing with them, it's a great toy, but lighting out rules. Oh, yeah, yeah totally. Yeah. Lighting yeah. makes all the difference. Hard. You can have the nicest lens in the world, and you have no lights, and you have no picture. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot the guy's name. His name is Stu something, a very famous like indie filmmaker guy. He was saying that like he would be on film sets, just take his like little DVX, mm -hmm. just to put it in the scene, and he's like, oh, this makes my DVX look like a freaking cinema camera. Yeah. Because yeah. it's not, yeah, like you are saying, it's always about lighting. It's yeah. not really mm -hmm. about your camera. Sometimes we'll ask, people ask that too, like, what camera should I get? Or what editing software yeah. should I get? I started on Windows Movie Maker when I was editing. Like, you literally can just use I that. I haven't heard that in forever. And, so, and then here's the thing, you'll naturally grow out of yeah. those things. So once you start with those entry level free things, and then you're like, oh, but I wish I could do this or yeah, that. And you and start then, to miss things out of the suite, and you're just like, exactly. oh, I guess I need this now. And, and then that's eventually... when you start going like, oh, okay, now I'll look into Premiere. Oh, now I'll look into like I think it's almost yeah. worse to start off with a really complex editing oh, suite. Because then it's just too much. Doing, you know? yeah, and that was the nice thing. I started with Windows Movie Maker, and then I got Sony Vegas, because it was like, I, 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 oh my god, we had the same path. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I, I pirated. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Or I didn't, I didn't pirate it, but I got a really. This is the early day. I got a really cheap copy. Yeah. Yeah, it must be nice to be rich, Ryan. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. They're like ten dollars, damn it. Oh yeah, nice to have that ten dollars, Ryan. Dude, dude, dude. I pirated everything up until like maybe four years ago. <laughs> like, oh, Adobe, shit. don't don't send him to collections. <laughs> but yeah, like so then and then I, what I liked about um, Sony Vegas was that it gave you like a step, if you had a question about something, you'd have the little help bubble and it would actually like guide your cursor over wow. and show you where everything was. And that was really cool. And then I just moved to Adobe because I realized that a lot of the other gigs and stuff like for this job and it's stuff, people were Adobe. using Adobe and Adobe um, had a nice uh, student uh, subscription fee it was like yeah. still really inexpensive and you get the full suite of stuff and yeah. I didn't have to worry about pirating or incompatibility because of that so that's why I moved on to that but yeah I think it's almost detrimental to start with like 
a, like Adobe because then I would be like, what the fuck am I doing? Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, you as like a professional editor, you're like, what do you use? I uh, use Avid. If you step into Avid, yeah, you will be like, I'm done with editing. I fuck this shit. Not like yeah. Avid. I touched Avid twice. I was like, why do they do this? It's the industry standard, though. Apparently, yeah, it's, built, it's built for those old hats. So yeah. like, it was when they were trying to convert them from film, like actual cutting of film, film yeah. to like, hey, no, use this computer, please. So it's built for those guys. Yeah. Yeah. It's starting to get a little bit better now, That's, where it's starting to evolve to like our generation. So it's like. Hey, can you please use ours now? Because these guys are going to die off soon. Yeah. You know, like. <laughs> but I thought I thought Final Cut was the more. It was. It oh. was until oh, okay, the story so behind that X. one. Yeah. So, so what was it? it? That tin came out what five years ago, something like that. Something like that. Yeah, it was about so, when I finished up at college. Yeah. A year before that, I got certified in Final Cut Seven, which was the one that was like the like the, the one. Yeah, it was was compete was about to compete with Avid, and it was yeah. like the pro thing. And I was I I was there for a class for like. I think six months, Whoa. certified in seven, got my certification, like a few months later, we're announcing Final Cut 10, and it's completely different. It's iMovie Pro, and I was like, what the fuck? And I was so mad, I started using Aww. Premiere for a year before I went back. Years. Before I went back, yeah, I Because I year. heard that like that drove a lot of the other like professional editors away from oh, Final yeah. Cut. They were just like, oh, fuck it. Uh, like, Walter we're March, the guy who made a Blink, uh, Blink yeah. and Eye, he's yeah. a very uh, famous um, editor who was like, Final Cut, Final Cut, yeah. even though everybody was like, no, Avid's the thing. He's like, no, Final Cut's like great. Completely like was like I'm out like yeah, and now he's premiere. No, he's premiere now. Yeah. He's not now. He's premiere. Uh, that's the cool thing about Adobe. Sorry for all the editing talk. This is really interesting. <laughs> yeah, this is really but deep. another cool thing about Premiere is that I find that their key mappings and stuff they can map everything out just yeah. like Final Cut or for all the other. They have presets for Avid or yeah. whoever is using whatever because they're real smart with like trying to bring people into their suite with like hey look your controls can be the same you know the yeah. program itself is different but look it like dynamic links with other uh, Adobe programs and stuff so that's why I like Adobe but I know I know why a lot of people use Avid and I get it, it's just not for me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, this is the first time I'm hearing about Avid, so I have no idea. What <laughs> Avid is, is I only heard about Avid in college because then yeah. the, all the professors were like, and the, and you're, film you're film going to use yeah. Avid. Avid's the industry it's standard. It still is the case, though. If you are trying to get so for new media, you definitely are going to be Premiere. Even some you know more traditional, you have Premiere. But if you're trying to really get paid on yeah. like a lot of professional shit, stuff, yeah, you want Avid if you want to really make it as an editor. I get it. It's just not for me. Yeah, and no, I don't think like, it will be for me. Forever. <laughs> yeah. But also, you're not really into editing. Yeah, I'm not. A, I really am not an editor, nor do I like really kind of claim to be. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, Avid's trash. I mean, it's not. It, it, it's, really, it's really powerful. It's trash, but just in terms of, you could throw that Avid sponsorship right out the window. Then <laughs> UI is so not intuitive to me. Um, I know mm -hmm. it is for people who've used it for years, but just yeah. Sorry. Sorry for all the geek talk. Yeah, it's just like, what is? The yeah, I'm that like, is? I'm kind of lost just because I completely study in something different, yeah. like a different mm -hmm. medium. Yeah. So like, we don't even. I don't. What, what yeah. is Avid? The only thing that we're like close to is probably Adobe. Right, things, right, all things right, Adobe like, like Photoshop, Illustrator, Illustrator yeah. uh, Premiere. What is the uh, After like, Effects animation like industry standard like yeah. program for like? Um, I know. <laughs> Honestly, you're asking the wrong person because the Long Beach Animation Program, at least at the time that I went in, was only great for 2D animation, and oh. I think they're trying to make their way into 3D, 3D animation. So uh, honestly, I don't really remember a lot of. Um, Editing software for animation. Oh, I, mean, I think like I think Toon Boom was one of them. Toon Boom. Yeah, Toon Boom was one of them. Where it's just like you take photos of like all the drawings that you do, oh. and then you oh. time it out. Oh, what so the? like so that's kind that's of like really our version. Analog. Of, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It that's is. more analog than I thought. Because I, I know that I see Aki all the time. Her her friend is also in animation, and yes. she's always on her Wacom like yeah, huge Wacom tablet and like drawing stuff out and stuff. But I don't know what program she used for that. So, yeah. I mean, uh, I think I think every company. Is different, right, right. but I mean, like 3D, like some people might use Maya or some other program, which I, do I don't know. Maya, know. Like a part of Maya. I only know what what I just touched in college, right, but right, yeah, right. Uh, I think for Aki, I think she does stuff on Photoshop. Mm, mm -hmm. Yeah, because you could animate on Photoshop. Which really? Is, I didn't know yeah, that. But you could. Yeah, yeah there's a sequencing. Oh, yeah. I used to do that for, light, for lightsabers oh, before yeah. I got into After Effects, which again is that pro progress thing. Yeah, so lightsabers on Photoshop? You can, yeah. So basically, you know, 24 frames in a second. So yeah. what you yeah. do is essentially just draw it out every freaking frame. Now, After Effects is a little easier because you can use keyframes. Yeah, I was yeah. going to say, so like, that animate. sounds like the yeah. worst. Saber can be here. <laughs> Saber can be here. What I do is I animate this one and this one, and then I do the animation. And like, okay, that one's a little bit off. You yeah. put it right here. Mm -hmm. Way easier in After Effects. But back in the day, I was like, Paint. Paint. One Paint. frame at a time. Paint. And then because of that, you would see, you would, you would watch it like, be a little like, like this. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes you Every get that frame. idea. And I felt like Adobe Flash was also their way of like animating too. Oh, yeah. But yeah, it was, <laughs> Goodbye, Flash. it wasn't that great. It wasn't that great. I used Flash in college yeah. for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Was uh, lightsabering your first like, 
video effects type of uh, thing? I guess so. Yeah, yeah. I guess so. I mean, because the first thing I did, I was doing a video for my dad, like a home video about like baseball. I think my little sister's baseball game or something like that. And I was like, oh, cool. This is fun that I could like take different clips and put them together and then it makes like a thing. Like, like a sequence. Yeah, yeah it's like, like a sequence. And then, yeah, I was like, oh. I can make my own lightsabers. <laughs> I like that. That was the second thought that you had. It's just like, just like, think of all the possibilities. I could get real nerdy with this, <laughs> and that's what led him to make his channel and yeah. be. Yeah, no, that's today. true. That's so yeah. true. Yeah. Not a knock on you in any means. Like you definitely like succeeded in a lot of ways yeah. with it. I just, it's just funny because it fits you so well. Like it's so. I could make lightsabers. Yeah. That was well, my like, progress. I'm kind of curious for all of you guys. What made you Ooh, interested start. in studying in film? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I've always been more practical with it. I never have been, like even when I started going to film school, I actually realized that I'm not a film guy at all. Cause those conversations that people would have and like, you know, being all nerdy about like, oh, this director, oh, this time period. Blah, blah, blah. I was like, shut the fuck up. I just like fucking making <laughs> shit. I like it. You know what I mean? Yeah, you just That's like... a good way to approach it though. I feel like too many people get caught up in the myopathy of like, yeah. of like looking at like, you know, film directors. I, I do this too sometimes, but it's like after a certain point, it's like a lot of those people don't create anything. <laughs> right. Like, they do well, a lot yeah. of talking about it, but they don't do any like actual making yeah. things. And from college, he was like that. He always would yeah. talk to me and be like, "Oh man, you're just like a producer." I'm always like, he was way more like, I guess, more eloquent about how the way he talked about film. Like he could be like a, a film theorist or sure, a reviewer yeah, yeah. like that. But practically, he never actually put it into sure, practice. Yeah. And you know? those people go into teaching, they go into reviewing, yeah, they go into right. a lot of things, but not necessarily like making exactly. things. And that's why I love Robert Rodriguez, because he was such a doer. Like he yeah. wasn't like a, oh, I'm gonna teach you how to do this, and we're gonna talk about the, the, the you know, whatever about Martin mm -hmm. Scorsese's films or Casablanca. Yeah. Although I do like those, some of those. Like, I like Casablanca, actually, yeah. I like Citizen Games, so I'm glad so I was exposed to some of those things. Um, but yeah, I just hate talking about them. Totally, yeah. I feel like that's very much you, too, in college. Yeah. I, very much, I feel like it's you, too, in college. Like you, you do get really into the theory of a lot of stuff, but I feel like at the end of the day, you're just like, fuck it, we're just gonna go make something. <laughs> Yo, college drove me crazy, man. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Yeah, because it drove me like mildly crazy. So yeah. for you, I can imagine you're just like, let me out. <laughs> Cause like, so, so what made, yeah, we'll so what got you in film, yeah. Um, I don't know, like it's weird. Cause I actually like, ever since I was a little kid, I always wanted a camera like to go shoot stuff. I remember I was like oh. four. And like my family and like family friends were all having like this yard sale. Somebody had like a really old, like huge VHS camera. They're selling for like five bucks. I was like, Mom, can I get it? And she's like, No, Devin, it's broken. I'm like, I'll fix it. And she was like, Baby No, Devin. go play with your toys. I was like, Okay. Very Devin. Aww. But it's like, <laughs> if there's an interaction that I've heard that's more Devin than that, I'm like, Yeah, that sounds like that sounds Calvin. exactly like Devin. Yep. What about you, Sean? Um, I always enjoyed making like you know how in middle school and high school, they make you do the video projects. Mm -hmm. I always really enjoyed making those video projects. Uh, started with Windows Movie Maker. Yeah. Yep. Made a video uh, and realized it took like a day to export on my really shitty laptop, um, like a full day, and then you would export it and then there'd be like no sound or some, or some shit like that. It was the Classic. worst and you have to do it again. Like one of them, I, specifically remember this moment of I had tested the DVD in like a bunch of DVD players in my house brought it to class and didn't work yeah all only the video played nice none of the sound played nice. and it was embarrassed oh, I still got an cool. A probably blamed it on you too they were just like you should have tested it on DVD players I'm like I did I did, <laughs> I did. But, but I still did get an A on that project. Nice. That's what's wrong with our schooling system. You just get participation points and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Boom. You should oh, have failed, Sean. Roasted. <laughs> should have tested another DVD player and everything else. I tested it like four times. At the school. school. <laughs> yeah, um, that's how I got my start. And then I would do really dumb things like. Um, Back in the day, I remember I made a Maple Story music video. Yes. Way back in the like that's that's some old school shit. I didn't do Maple Story. I made anime music videos. Naruto yeah. I, and <laughs> but 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 that's how I would get like the basics of of how to edit and everything and and how to like timing and rhythm on. exactly. Yeah. Like you'd go to the beat and yeah. And it's just all those little things that eventually like compiled and then um, when I got to high school, I saw that they had a video program and. Uh, I was like, I really want to be in this video program. And so junior and senior year, I joined and I was in it. And it's basically the same as what we're doing now, just making really dumb videos yep. for the campus to see. And that shit was so much, so much fun. I've made 
back when I had my really long bowl cut hair. Mm -hmm. and uh, time to dig up. I think we all did. Everybody had bowl cut. Everybody did. Where it's like, where it's just like video and throw it in the throw it in this edit. Wherever that is. Don't forget to go to the talent show. Yeah. Oh God, I'm. Yeah. What about it. you, Pat? About I'm like a combination between like Devin and Sean. I think like when I was like little, I would do like these like little like film things. I guess that I just like realize now too. Yeah. So like for example, I think in the third grade we had like this uh, like assembly, right? Right. And we had one where it's, uh, it's called like the imagination machine. Okay. Do you guys have that? No. So basically no. like we all like wrote scripts and stuff and we submitted it to them. Oh, that's cool. And then they came to our school and they like performed it. Oh, that's so really I cool. Like I don't remember like writing that's... mine, but then I remember getting called and they're like, oh yeah, yours got chosen. And then it was like, it was like really cool because then you like saw your script like come to life. Right, right. And then like I was, I was like cheering you on and stuff. And I'm like, and I still have my certificate. Wow. From like you frame it. I'm going to. <laughs> <laughs> That's what got him started, dude. Yeah. And then in high school, um, I also wanted to join like the video class mm -hmm. kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And then I went to the professor and I was like, or the teacher, he's not professor. Uh, I went to the teacher and awesome. I was like, hey, so uh, what do you think of uh, me going into the actual like uh, the film industry as like a uh -huh. career? He's like, he's like, well, my friend uh, works with Michael Bay and I became a teacher, so. Uh, <laughs> 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 what a fucking kid! Yeah, I'm, like, I'm like, oh, okay. Uh, yeah. And you were just like, well, I would do it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> like, you salty ass. <laughs> and you're just like, well, I don't suck like you, so. <laughs> and just walked off. Yeah. Yeah. Oof. Well, hey, you're, yeah, doing like a, yeah. <laughs> you're doing, you're doing it. You're doing it. So that's it, pretty man. impressive. Dude, I feel like that environment explains your personality so much, Pat. I'm just like, that singer, the dude's just like, mm -hmm. Well, he's successful, and you look at me, dude. Like, look at you asking. <laughs> <laughs> Pat's like, gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> Absorbed all of that personality. <laughs> what about you, Ryan? For me, um, it's, it's funny. In eighth grade, I had, had to do a career project. I had to choose, and we had to choose a career. It didn't even have to be like, they were like, oh, this probably won't be the career that you stick with, but just choose something so you can do this project. So I'm like, all right, cool. So I chose, um, I chose film because I was like, fuck it. Like, I enjoy watching movies like maybe I can be kind of good at making them I don't know like so then I was start I start I did a couple like short things as part of the project and I realized oh I kind of like that and so then going into high school I was like well I'm just gonna go in this direction and then once somebody stops me like I'll choose something else yeah. and then nobody stopped me <laughs> yeah. and then I got to the end of high school I was like uh oh <laughs> I, I guess I gotta go with this now <laughs> so cuz I I did some short film I was president of the film club in, in uh, high school and I did some like I did some like yeah nerd yeah it, it was basically just like all my friends it was just like film club was just my friends so we made some shorts won some like awards like local like uh, other high school film festivals and stuff so I was like oh I guess I'm kind of okay at this and so I just kept going in that direction did and you ever do like any news segments news segments yeah yeah, like, yeah like since you were the president of the film club like did you guys ever oh like oh, the morning like, announcement, like an announcement stuff no that yeah. was handled by ASB so we oh. didn't really get to touch any of that Fuck that would have made a lot of, that would right that would have made a lot of sense but no I mean we we're just kind of like in our own kind of world like doing our own stuff but yeah, but I, I just kept doing it throughout college and then I was blessed to like meet, you know, cool people that continued to like con encourage me and like push me in the direction of like, hey, you could do this. Like we have this like job here and stuff and then uh, working at the other job that I work at evic.com, like once I got my degree, they're like, oh, you got a film degree. You want to make videos for us? And I was like, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I'm just doing that now. Yeah. So, but it's all working out. Yeah. Dude, the class we met in was dope. Like it, it was, was cool. Was Kevin O'Brien? Was that his name? I think it was O'Brien or something. Or was, was O'Brien a writer? Cause remember there was a really good. What was writer. the subject of the class? It was it was a it was a hidden class. Yeah, it was oh. worded weirdly. It was like the it was like the de analysis or practical application of film or something like that. Like, it was that really, sounds awesome to me. No, it was it was a dumb sound because the course description was stupid. Because uh, yeah. also we're theory tracks, so there's not supposed to be classes where you actually produce stuff. Yeah, it's oh, supposed to be yeah. theory. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, one of my biggest complaints about the Long Beach uh, film program in general, just like as a whole, like was that very theory based. But yeah, but we met in that class, and then he basically just gave us because this dude's also a filmmaker and he's also a professor at USC, and he was like. Uh, just giving us a, a basically a, a crash course to filmmaking. He like explained like craft services, like food on set and stuff. It was like a little bit of everything, and then we produced our little short things yeah. in that class and screened them. It was that was the, one of the best classes that I took in college. <laughs> one thing you remember is like he taught us about food. Yo, no, that's because no, nobody else did. Because like yeah. yeah, up until that point, nobody else told me that it was. You got to keep a crew happy. Yeah, it's super important. Like yep. And Ryan, you've been there for my craft services. Devin's craft service table. 
I take very nice. I take it serious. That's how I learned how to how to set up a craft services table. Like you have to, or you can't just throw the snacks on the table. You have to like organize yeah. it and make it look appealing for people to want to go yep. and like eat at it. Cause and then, like the goal yeah, should be. Yeah, I want to see a picture. Of this. <laughs> it's really nice. Can we have Devin do our craft services next? Yo, time? I'm down. I love doing craft services. Like Maybe the goal. Calling. The goal for craft services is like you you need to have it to where it's like people want to hang out there. But when they get called to set, they can grab and go. Yeah. Like if you get people to get in trouble because they're staying by your craft service table, yeah. you did a good yeah. job. You did good. And especially if you keep it under budget, because like you're pretty good at staying under budget. Oh, I'm. I was. I. Oh, <laughs> a little egotistical moment, but I was good at it. All right. You want to change your pants there? <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just like I had flashbacks of a certain teacher who I will not name. Oh, for oh her. I, I was thinking you were gonna bring up this story, but I'm. Letting... It'd be funny oh. if you just called him. <laughs> I'm, I'm really tempted to. But it's because I don't think there's any kind of issues with me naming him, but who knows? Because, you know, he's not a working person.